Martino was in town to help promote El Tri's June 9th friendly match against Ecuador at it. While much of the action will take place in Arlington, there also will be a fan first two days before the contest outside City Hall. Dallas has a large and passionate fan base for the Mexican national team, and we look forward to celebrating that partnership. It gets bigger every year, Rawlings said. At it. I've seen those events that take place. It's remarkable, Martino gave a brief speech thanking the mayor and others, including representatives from the Dallas Sports Commission and Soccer United Marketing, for the welcome he received this week and the one that awaits him and his team in June. The manager said he and his staff are still determining when the team will arrive in North Texas, with a friendly match against Venezuela days earlier in Atlanta and the beginning of the Gold Cup in Pasadena, California, on June 15, while Martino only took over Mexico in January, he's managed it. 8. 2015. I was impressed when I came into the stadium. I love the stadium, he said. It's always pleasant to come to Dallas, that's good to hear, with several trips to the region planned. This June's contest will be the first of four games in a partnership between the Mexican Federation, some, the Dallas Cowboys and FC Dallas that will bring one Mexico friendly a year to it. FCD is likely to host the team for training sessions at its facilities, though Martino and his staff are still finalizing plans for the summer. Martino was quizzed about Argentina's training sessions at SMU in 2015 and said while he didn't recall the exact conditions, he feels there is no shortage of places that would fit his specifications. I think that when you come to the United States, and a place like Dallas that's so passionate about soccer, it's really difficult not to find great locations to train and also to play, the coach said. The event also served as an early reminder of the region's bid to bring 2026 World Cup games to town. The 56-year-old coach wasn't ready to throw his full weight behind the bid, but said good things are coming for the sport in North Texas. It's a fantastic city that has a lot of love for soccer, he said. In our case, the Mexican national team plays as the home team. It's really important to be here not only for the friendly, but for what's coming in the future. This topic is missing your voice. View comments let's block ads. Why?